Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, I decided to get on today to show you uh, something that I really feel is important. Um, I know some of you may have heard about it already. I want to just give you a quick couple of minutes of um, my story, my backstory on this. Um, I, if anyone has been following me from day one, uh, which I've been posting these videos on my page, this YouTube channel for the last um, few months, I'm just trying to be led by the Holy Spirit. I'm not always doing a serious teaching or always giving a prophetic word or anything like that. I'm just kind of, because God is like slowly unfolding this thing for me. So I'm just kind of going along with what he's doing. Um, and I know there's, you know, some days there's, you know, a, a nice amount of people that may watch the video. Some days there's not. That's not really why I do it. Because at the end of the day, I know whatever God is using this channel for, it will be made, you know, known. It will reach its potential. Um, but for anyone that does see this, I want you to have some idea of why I'm posting it. Uh, back, I did mention before in another video, if you watched it, it might have been the one regarding U.S. politics. Um, but I spoke on how I knew in 2016 that the Lord was uh, saying that Trump was going to win, that he was using Trump. And I knew that all was well, to have peace, to not worry about what everyone else is thinking or saying, but to continue to believe that he spoke to me, that this is what he's doing. Um, and I've heard God on other things before, so I know it was him, but I was quite shocked. And the reason why I was shocked is because I was not thinking of, to vote for him. Um, <laughs> I was quite shocked because I was thinking to vote for Hillary. Okay. And let me tell you why. I was thinking to vote for Hillary because I, like so many others, uh, God knew my heart. He knew I was all for him. But what I was ignorant of is the fact that he is in every single thing okay God is in everything he cares about the smallest things he cares about the biggest things if he cares about the biggest things why would he not care about the small things right regarding our lives is what I'm referring to and God basically was letting me know he was using this to train me too. God trust me God wastes nothing okay he was still teaching me how to hear him even more clearly he was still giving me experience to experiences to um, increase my faith about who I was and you know, what he wanted to speak to me about that was not all about just my personal life, but also about others. And so I know now that some of the experiences and some of the um, messages that I receive is for the body of Christ, not just always my personal life. Right. So I'm starting to understand more and more of how he wants to use me. So anyway, back then uh, he gave me, you know, this experience where he allowed me to know Trump's going to win before he won. And then it was like, I wanted him to win. I'm using him. And I'm like, huh? And I was only going to vote for Hillary because she was in support of Obama. And because I've always thought I was Democrat. Uh, I was a Democrat. Um, mainly because I did research some things back then because I have a legal uh, legal background. So I did research some things. I did listen to certain candidates. And I, I just felt like they were the better ones. And so I just became Democratic and left it at that. Well, at the end of the day, I find out now, years later, when you really start listening to God, he'll show you what's really going on with you. And it wasn't that I meant to not listen to God. I just never thought I needed to pray to him about politics. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have been in that place as well and maybe still are. And this is why I'm doing this. Um, the, the biggest thing you really want to do is if you love God and you really want to know what God wants to do in your life, you want to know what God wants to do, period, in the world. Because everything that goes on in the world is going to affect us to some degree. Not everything totally though because we're in the world not of the world got that but we still have to be aware of what's going on in the world because God will still be wanting to influence certain things um, that obviously don't go against certain things that has to happen for biblical prophecy to come to pass but there are certain things that God does not want to take place and he uses us to stand in partnership and pray certain things uh, you know just like he did with the prophets back in, in the old um, where they were repenting on behalf of the nation, where they were giving a word of God to the nation regarding what was going on and what it is that God was saying and wanted to do. And that is what he's still doing today. God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. And so I learned and had to repent for my ignorance in the area of politics. I was one of those Christians that felt like, oh, God, don't care about the politics, Ugh, whatever, you know. Um, and really, he does. I mean, and when you really think about it, it really makes no sense that he wouldn't care about that. He cares about everything. He got people in the entertainment industry. He has people in the medical field. He has people everywhere. 
okay for whatever purpose he put them there they're there so in saying that people um i voted trump and i have no problem with that i know some people are not going to like it and that's fine it's not for you to like it's for me to understand what my god is saying to me what our God is saying. And if you choose not to listen to our God, because he's not just my God, but he's my God for me, right? Because um, I have an intimate relationship with him, which I'm sure you all do too, some of you all. And the ones that don't, I pray that you do come to have an intimate relationship with God for yourself so that you can also hear him and you have your one-on-one -on -one fellowship time with him. It's a beautiful thing. It's an awesome thing. So anyway, I'm not showing myself today because I'm doing this and this is a little bit something different. So I just wanted to let you know that in 2016, I um, knew that Trump was going to win. But 2014, two years prior to that, God led me to listen to a prophet named Kim, Kim Clement, K-I-M. His last name is spelled C-L-E-M-E-N-T, Clement. Um, I did not ever heard of this man before. I didn't know anything about him in 2014. God led me to a prophecy that he had put out. When I listened to that prophecy, I was suspicious about when he mentioned the Trump thing. Was that about Donald Trump? Because people were kind of talking about it at that time. But I did not know. I was not sure. Um, and then I saw also during that time that they that he the, when the Lord led me to that 2014 prophetic word he had given Prophet Clem Clement. Um, it was also had started from 2007. So seven years. God, anybody know about any biblical numbers? You know seven. Okay, number completion. God's biblical number. Excuse me. That's my cell phone. I'm so sorry. I normally have it muted, but um, right now because I was doing this, I didn't even think about it because I wasn't on an actual you know, video, uh, doing a video, but I'm doing a recording today because I want to let you guys hear this prophecy by this uh, prophet, Kim Clement. But anyway, which I'm getting ready to play for you. Um, but so this man, this prophet, Clem Clement, had heard God in 2007 regarding America and regarding politics and, and everything that God wanted to speak to him about. Um, and then in 2014, he gave him some more information. And so he updated. He did not change the prior word. He just added to it, on to it. And so... I'm going to let you hear it from his mouth, straight from his mouth. But the thing I wanted to just say is that and some people may not believe me, and I'm not going to worry about that, but I trust you. I'm not lying to you. I totally forgot about that experience where he led me to listen to this man's prophecy because I wasn't thinking about politics like that. I just always voted Democrat when I voted. Sometimes I didn't vote. I did vote, I did vote Obama in twice. I love Obama, but at the end of the day, Obama was meant to be there, okay, because God, it, it was part of a uh, biblical prophecy because God already knew that he was going to, in 2015, usher in same-sex marriage, which has continuously uh, allowed other things to unfold that comes against God's word, okay? But now God is saying, stop. He's given us time to repent. He's given us time to hear him clearly, to come into a uh, personal, into, uh, intimate, intimate relationship with him so that we can hear him, so that we can get things together, so in this season we can truly build in this season we can truly um you know pray for those people who are still out there our loved ones to to come together uh, apostolic and prophetic and pray for the world and the body of christ uh the fivefold ministry to do what they're supposed to do okay um to help further help the development of the body of christ which is the apostolic the prophet the pastor the evangelist the teacher i mean you know there's other gifts of course but at the end of the day we need to come together. And so I really did not remember that the Lord led me to that word in 2014 regarding what you see now happening regarding Prophet Kim Clement's prophecy. It was true, okay? Um, but it's something else that you're going to notice when you listen to this prophetic word um, from the prophet. Uh, but yeah, I didn't remember. And so in 2016, when I got that information, I thought it was the first time God spoke to me about uh, anything having to do with uh, politics uh, regarding, I mean, I knew I had, had prophetic dreams about Obama and things like that during his presidency, but that was the first time I ever had that. And um, so I really thought that was the first time. Okay, so here it is, 2016. Here we are now, 2020. God just reminded me that I had heard that prophecy in 2014. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. That's true. I did hear that. So it wasn't the first time. But to me in 2016, when he gave me that word and understanding about Trump, I thought it was the first time I heard anything about it. So I wasn't really, um, what's the word for it? I hadn't been influenced by the 2014. I just know God wanted me to listen to it. 
by 2016, if I could have went able, if I could have gotten to the polls, because I, I wasn't able to get to the polls, I had a lot going on in my life at the time, and I just wasn't able to get there. If I could have went, I would have voted for Hillary. Well, thank God I didn't. But he's showing me that even though you forgot I, I led you to a prophet, a man of God who I gave that word to, you still know now that you hurt me because you did not remember me showing, telling you to listen to him in 2014. But you did hear me clearly in 2016, and you stood on that. And I stood on that, even though it wasn't a popular thing. I stood on that. I supported Trump. No matter what he said, did, whatever. I, I just knew what God was doing, so I couldn't look at all of that. I couldn't look at the, the whole culture thing, the black and the white. I had to look at the kingdom and what God was doing, and that's what I did. So I want you all to listen to this. As I play this for you, it's about six minutes and 31 seconds long. When it's over, I'm not going to come back on. Um, I just want you guys to listen to it and see it for yourself. And take it to God. Pray on it. And you judge for yourself what you think is going on. Because God told me that when he started showing me the, my, the certain signs that I journal was picking up. When he started showing me the double, and I mentioned the double in my last video. If you haven't watched it, you might want to go back and watch that video. Um, when he started to show me... Um, that regarding the double um that when i start seeing things in the double and having a prophetic dream about the conjoined twins and so forth that i had birthed something but also he was letting me know that you know what prophets are hearing from me hallelujah because i'm a hybrid i'm apostolic and prophetic so he's letting me know and i see a lot my prophetic is mostly I see I do hear God sometimes but I mostly see and discern things um, accurately uh, especially prophetic dreams and so forth so therefore I know who is hearing God so those are the prophets I pay attention to and when you start hearing true prophets of God people who are really speaking God's word you know what God is saying in the earth you know what he's saying so you guys want to know that all right love you love you much here is the video I hope you enjoy it and I hope you truly no matter what you hear or see, and it's little clips of it, because his prophecy is very long. Remember, this is a 2007 prophecy and a 2014, but they go together. But what someone has done, and I'm grateful for them, because I've, I've watched the whole prophecy before. It's over an hour or so long. Um, they put the different, they just put the clips together so it can shorten it some and gave you the most important parts. But trust me, if you want to go and look it up, you can get the whole prophecy online and you can listen to it. Um, but this is exactly what this man was saying from 2007 to 2014 that the Lord was giving him. All right. So please listen to it. Take notes. Listen to it more than once if you have to. Then take it to God in prayer and let him speak to you about it. Let him confirm it to you. He will do it. Oh, my God. Won't he do it? He will do it. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Lakeisha at Narrow Path Institute. Bye bye. In the Jimmy. But I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart, and he is amongst you. The highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, you shall step down for the embarrassment of what shall take place. But I wish to place in the highest court in the land righteousness. And they shall attempt to put others in to endeavor, to reach their endeavors. But God says, hear me tonight. Hear me today. I have this whole thing planned out according to my will. For it is now time for me to restore the fortunes of Zion. I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed. Because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them. And the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said, This man will throttle the enemies of Israel. This man will throttle the enemies of the West. And there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many, many politicians in this nation. There will be a shaking amongst them. There will be a shaking amongst the de Democrats in the upcoming elections. But I'm settling for the Republicans. Why is, why is God doing this? For God said, I am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties. And then there is a nation he showed me, took me, 
itching for a new kind of war with America. They will shout, impeach, impeach, they say. But nay. This nation shall come very suddenly. And it shall not come in the time of President Obama. It shall come when this new one arises by David that I have set aside for this nation. A man of prayer. A man of choice words. Not a man who is verbose, who has verbosity, who speaks too much. They will even say, this man is not speaking enough. But God says, I have set him aside. They will shout in beach and beach, but this shall not happen. And then God says, highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises. And people will become very afraid. They'll say, we have no protection. And then God says, am I impressed? With your weapons of war. Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ah! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. The man that I have raised up, pray. For the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. Did anybody hear what he just said? Mm -hmm. For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. This that shall take place shall be the most unusual thing. A transfiguration. A going into the marketplace, if you wish. Into the news media. With Time Magazine will have no choice but to say what I want them to say. You see what I want to say. Now do what I want to say. Trump shall become a trumpet, says the Lord. Trump shall become a trumpet. I will raise up the Trump to become a trumpet and Bill Gates to open up the gate of the financial realm for the church says the Lord I will not forget 9-11 I will not forget what took place that day and I will not forget the gatekeeper that watched over New York who will once again stand and watch over this nation, says the Spirit of God. It shall come to pass that the man that I place in the highest office shall go in, whispering my name. But God said when he enters into the office, he will be shouting out by the power of the Spirit. But I shall fill him with my spirit when he goes into office. And there will be a praying there in the highest seat in your way. There will be a praying president. Not a religious one. But I will fool the people, says the Lord. I will fool the people. Yes, I will. God says, the one that is chosen shall go in. And they shall say, he has hot blood. But the Spirit of God says, yes, he may have hot blood. But he will bring the walls of protection on this country in a greater way. And the economy of this country shall change rapidly, says the Lord of hosts. Listen to the word of the Lord. God says, I will put at your help for two terms. A president that will pray, but he will not be a praying president when he starts. I will put him in office and then I will baptize him with 